In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a, a speed, time, distance system of equations application. And in this question, we have this uh, girl that canoes 24 kilometers upstream to her family's camp in three hours, and a return trip with the current takes only two hours. How fast can the girl paddle in still water? And you're also asked how fast does the river flow? So we need a let statement first of all. Let's let C represent the canoe speed, the speed that she paddles, and we'll call R the speed that the river flows at. Now the way we set these up is we're going to make up expressions for the downstream speed and the upstream speed using the C and the R. And just like uh, an analogy I often use here is, uh, and most students have ridden a bicycle, if you're riding the bicycle with the wind, the wind's at your back, the, the wind speeds you up, makes it go faster because it's pushing your back. But if you turn around and go into the wind, like going upstream, the girl in the canoe, it slows you down because you're working against that current, that wind in that case, or in this case, the, the, the river flowing. So the, the downstream speed when you're going with the current, the current's pushing you faster, then you can go the canoe speed plus the river speed. The river speed, whatever it is, it makes you go that much faster. For the upstream one, it's the canoe speed, the speed the girl's paddling her canoe, minus the river speed because she is paddling against the river and whatever speed the river's going, it slows her down by that much. So those are expressions for the downstream speed and the upstream speed. And something else you might have seen before, uh, we're going to use this relationship. Maybe you saw this in a previous math class or maybe a science class. Distance equals speed multiplied by time. So we're going to use this to get the two equations for our system here. I'm going to change this a little bit though. I'm going to rearrange it. Instead of writing distance equals speed times time, I'm going to write the speed times time on the left side and the distance on the right. And in fact, we often say speed times time, but time multiplied by speed is the same thing speed times time, time times speed, that is the same thing. So I want it in this order just because it makes the equations a little bit nicer. That's the only reason. So uh, the first sentence here, a girl canoes 24 kilometers upstream to her family's camp in three hours. So three hours is the time. So let's put a three at the beginning, multiplied by her speed. And her speed would be the C minus R expression because she's going upstream there. That's why that this trip part of the trip took longer because you're going against the current. And the distance equals 24. Um, she went 24 kilometers, that's why it equals 24 because that's the total distance traveled. So that's the time. The time was three hours. The expression for the speed is uh, the, the canoe speed minus the river. And then multiply that is the time times the speed multiplied to give us the distance, the 24 kilometers that she traveled. Now let's do that also with the uh, her return trip and only took two hours. So two will be the, the time. The speed in this case, because she's going down, downstream, is the C plus R and it equals 24 because it's still the same 24 kilometers. So these equations can be simplified and you'll pretty well always, I don't like to say always, always, but I've never seen a time when this didn't simplify this way. You can, you can, you can divide out these times, the three hours and two hours. So I'm going to divide this one by three because there's a three in front and then this one by two because there's a two in front of the C plus R bracket. And so if that divides out, the threes are gone here. So this is kind of what I'm doing. These are gone. And so we just get C minus R equals, and this would be eight. And then over here, the same thing, these twos divide out. And so we're just left with C plus R and 24 is divided by two is 12. So C plus R equals 12. So that's our two equations. I'm gonna rewrite this one underneath the uh, C plus R equals 12 one. And we've got lots of options here. All the coefficients are one or negative one, so substitution would be a good method, an efficient method. Um, and the C's are the same, so I could subtract to eliminate the C. I could add to eliminate the R's because the R's are just opposites. So I'm going to do that last one. I'm going to add to eliminate the R's, but all of those other options would work fine, and they'd all give the same solution. So 1C and 1C adds to 2C. The opposite R's add to zero, so that's why there's no R here. And 12 and 8 works up to 20.
Now I'm trying to solve for c, so I'll divide out the 2, and c works out to be 10. So the canoe speed is 10. She's able to, in still water, paddle 10 kilometers an hour. So now let's find the uh, river speed. So I'm going to use this equation. I'm going to put my 10 right here. So 10 plus r equals 12. So r would have to be 2. 10 plus 2 gives you 12. So the girl paddles her canoe at 10 kilometers per hour. That's her speed if she was just in still water, not going against her with a current. And the river flows at 2 kilometers per hour. And that's the end of the example.